the United States Special Operations Command successfully demonstrated a new palletized weapon system in Norway. Called Rapid Dragon, the roll-on, roll-off system allows the launch of multiple long-range cruise missiles using standard airdrop procedures from the open cargo bay of a transport aircraft. Upon release, the weapon deploys its control surfaces and glides toward its target. The system essentially transforms a regular transport aircraft into a strike platform. The test took place on November 9, 2022, at Andoya Space Center on Andoya Island, northern Norway. It was conducted by the U.S. Special Operations Command Europe in the presence of Norway, Poland, Romania, and the United Kingdom. It was the first time that the weapon was demonstrated in Europe. The maiden live fire test of the Rapid Dragon took place a year prior, on November 3, 2021, at White Sands Missile Range in the U.S. state of New Mexico. The Rapid Dragon experimentation program is appropriately named, as it advanced rapidly from a concept on paper to a live fire using a developmental prototype in 24 months, said Dr. Dean Evans, Rapid Dragon program manager. Now less than three years from the program's inception, Rapid Dragon is being used by SOCEUR in the Arctic Circle. This is a testament to the team's focus on rapid fielding to meet warfighter needs. SOCEUR said the Rapid Dragon was tested using an MC-130J Commando 2 transport aircraft of the 352D Special Operations Wing, a variant of the Lockheed C-130 Hercules specifically designed for Special Forces missions. Increasingly capable long-range air launch munitions have already granted new life to elder statesmen like the B-52 Stratofortress, but the Air Force's Rapid Dragon program aims to take this concept to the next level. Rather than relying solely on heavy payload bombers and strike fighters to deliver standoff munitions, Rapid Dragon will allow America's large fleets of cargo aircraft to join the fight as missile-packing arsenal ships. In fact, this system could even turn cargo aircraft into incredibly potent warship hunters if a conflict were ever to break out over the Pacific. It may seem counterintuitive to fly massive radar reflecting platforms like the C-130 Hercules or C-17 Globemaster anywhere near contested airspace in order to deploy munitions but the premise behind Rapid Dragon isn't to send these hulking airframes into the fight. Instead, the effort leverages palletized standoff weapons like the AGM-158 JASM, Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile, with ranges that can exceed 1,000 miles, allowing the cargo aircraft to deploy its ordnance from well beyond the reach of enemy air defenses. According to the Air Force, this would allow them to saturate enemy airspace with a large volume of low-observable cruise missiles for a relatively low cost and low risk. The name, Rapid Dragon, is actually an homage to an ancient Chinese siege weapon that saw use around 950 AD called, Ji Long Che, which translates to, Rapid Dragon Carts. These weapons were effectively crossbow catapults that allowed a single user to pull one trigger to launch as many as 12 arrows simultaneously at long distances for the day. As the Air Force Research Laboratory puts it, today, the Rapid Dragon concept is changing the game again, this time as an airborne delivery system for U.S. Air Force weapons. And like its namesake, these palletized munitions promise to unleash mighty salvos en masse on distant adversaries. Somewhat ironically, the Rapid Dragon weapon system may prove most valuable in a conflict against the nation from which it draws its name. Thanks to low observable and long-range munitions like the JASM family of cruise missiles, these cargo aircraft could saturate enemy airspace with missiles, take out whole fleets of enemy ships, or lay mines across vast expanses of the ocean, all without coming to within range of Chinese air defense systems.